This presentation is on the benefits of discussion boards and online classes. Before I go into the specifics of the benefits of discussion boards, I want to point out that discussion boards are considered to be effective because they're thought to promote active learning. Student learning is generally categorized in one of two ways, active and passive. In active learning, students engage in activities that promote critical thinking of the material. In contrast, in passive learning, students are receive information and are expected to reproduce it. Freeman and colleagues examined 225 studies comparing active learning to passive learning in college courses. They found that on average, students learned better with active learning as opposed to passive learning. If you look at the graph, the active learning studies where fewer students failed the course are in blue, and the active learning studies where more students failed the course are in black. The average decrease in failure with active learning is indicated with the red dotted line. So on average, 12% fewer students failed the course when active learning was involved. There are similar findings when you look at measures such as exam scores or paper scores or overall course grades as well. Active learning is especially important in online classes. In addition to the problems with passive learning, there are overall more D's and F's in online courses compared to face-to-face -to -face courses, and students are more likely to withdraw from online courses. There are several reasons why. One is that online learning oftentimes is very passive. A lot of times the lectures are just recorded and posted without requiring any student interaction. Uh, there also can be a feeling of a lack of interactivity where the students feel like because it's so passive they're just receiving the material and not needing to do anything with it. Online courses often evoke feelings of isolation in which students don't know the, their peers in their course or feel like they really have an instructor that's present in the course. Finally, Students oftentimes can procrastinate in asynchronous online courses. Without having a scheduled time to show up for class and engage with the material, it can be very easy to put off the course expectations and requirements. Now I'm going to go through how discussion boards help with each of those four issues with online courses. One is that discussion boards help with interactivity. Uh, the discussion boards allow the students to interact with each other and studies have found that that increased peer interaction can actually help with course completion rates. In other words, fewer students withdraw if they're engaging in a discussion board. Discussion boards can also help with the social presence. As I mentioned earlier, students often feel isolated in online courses. Having a feeling of community and interpersonal relationships can help students feel more connected in the class. In the study by Cho and Tobias, uh, when instructors required discussions in online courses, <coughs> they found that students indicated they felt more social presence in the course than if they did not have discussion boards in the course. Discussion boards can also help with time management. Because asynchronous courses are so easy to forget about and then put off and then let the more pressing demands in your face-to-face -face environment take priority, procrastination is very common and that procrastination, not surprisingly, can subsequently lead to poorer grades. Students who post regularly on discussion boards find that having those deadlines with needing to post on the boards and engage with their peers can prevent that procrastination and keep them on top of the material, subsequently helping them with their course grades. Finally, posting on boards can improve grades. It's been known that students who post more get better grades than students who post as much. However, it's been debated which comes first. Is it students who would be getting good grades anyway post more? Oh, that or that posting more makes for good grades. As you can see on the graph, after controlling for prior academic performance, students who posted a high number of times on the discussion boards 
scored an average of 10 percentile points higher. That basically is a full grade higher than students who did not post at all on the boards. So it seems that posting leads to better performance on course exams, even if you factor in how good a student normally performs in their courses. There are also benefits of online discussion boards over face-to-face -face discussion. Oftentimes students will say that they love in-class discussions, but they, they don't see the point of an online discussion board. Well, there are certain benefits that online discussion boards have. First of all, an online discussion board gives students time to reflect on their responses. You can have more complex and more thoughtful responses because you have a little more time to think things over. You're not thinking on the fly. Students can also choose the time and place so they can pick when is convenient for them to engage in the board. Students can develop virtual teamwork skills. We have an interconnected workplace in which a lot of times you need to work with colleagues virtually. You're not going to be meeting with them face to face. You're going to be meeting over you know, online and um, computer supported environments. Another thing is, is that the online discussion boards have a written record of your discussion. So you can go back and see what you read, refer to it, think about what other students commented, and read it at your own pace. You know, this can be especially helpful for students who, you know, maybe like to have a little more time to think things over or give them a chance to see how their thoughts and uh, opinions have grown as the course has gone on. Discussion boards can also help build skills that employers want. One of the biggest top skills employers are looking for is teamwork. When hiring recent graduates, employers say that they place the greatest priority on demonstrated proficiency and skills and knowledge that cut across majors. So these are things like written communication skills, teamwork skills, critical thinking skills, and the ability to apply knowledge in real world settings. So these are all highly valued skills that discussion boards will help you build. A common student's complaint about group discussions in general is that they take up time that would be used, better used listening to lectures from the professor or hearing directly from the instructor. But as shown with the earlier slides, engaging with the material with your peers is definitely worth the time. Group discussions online or face-to-face -face promote active learning, build critical thinking skills, help your understanding of the material, develop your communication skills, uh, help you and promote your teamwork skills, especially your virtual teamwork skills. All of these skills are highly desired by employers and will make you more marketable in your future career prospects.